just what I need. Have fun. Ammunition is like the bean machine of the firearms industry. I think I dreamed of being a ballroom dancer as a young boy. But when it comes to guns, go with your gut. Non-refundable, I should add. Quiet. Also effective on unruly livestock, I've heard. There you go. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. Come in! Come in! I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high-power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. <laughs> Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP industry. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. That's the chestnut. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. They won't hear me coming. All right, now stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus.
I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. Where are you, man? I'm waiting at the water tower. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware. But I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. I'm up the tower, Trevor. We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Here, by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Hold up! There's a guard standing under the control tower! Good kill, Trevor! You want me to shoot you in the behind? Hurry up, will ya? in my sight, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank. I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. There's a second guy coming out of the building. Good kill, Trevor. I'm a fixing it. Don't let him sneak up on me, okay? And whatever you do, don't hit the tank! Please, man! I think someone's coming! Shit! A bolt from the blue! Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! Always hated it! <laughs> <laughs> 
One dead biker is as good to me as another. Make your peace, gentlemen! Us. Now start that plane. I'm afraid I gotta confiscate this weaponry. Someone to purchase our guns. Right, of course. But Johnny K and the figurine? Recent events, my impending departure included, have only expedited things. Trevor Phillips Enterprises is a far superior organization to the Lost Leather Club. Well, we hope we improve revenue streams, cut overheads, and maximize profit, all that. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less. For one thing, we won't be paying a bunch of idiots to stand around in cowhide sniffing engine fumes. It's important work you're doing out here. God knows, we need a sharp mind running things. I am blessed to be a part of it.
I told my contact to meet us just off the coast. Hey, there's a biker on your wing, Trevor. I am aware of this. Well, you gotta get him off. Do a roll or something. Well, the man on my wing presents no immediate danger, I'll do my best to oblige you. So, uh, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or? Or other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I'd assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I was. There's a flare in the water. I'm guessing it's them. It better be. Drop your load. coming up. Fly low. We don't want to show on their radar. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. And get better at it, or fly through a barn. Would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're braver than I thought. Keep low, over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Fort Sankudo coming up. If we fly low, we ain't gonna show up on military radar. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce 
And my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate.
Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay. You see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. Yeah, that's it. Give them hell. Shoot another one. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We're gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this... Oh, look out! Eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect, right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. Hellfire! Aim ain't nothing without timing in my book. Cross the line! I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. That ain't right. Sometimes I come up here with my girl. I ain't the prettiest, but she can handle a firearm like a Marine. Mm, she got lucky with you, all right. Man, yeah, not too bad, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. No harm done. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. Him. 
Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out, and the rest should scatter. Ah! Sing to me now, song dog! And another! Dumbass! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. Give me strength! Come on! You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hill.
Trevor Phillips. Elwood O'Neill. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Trevor, it's business. That wide-eyed idiot was mine. It's business, fella. You want to discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab, and we're going to see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done! Mm. Oh, oh, you are going to die! many brothers you got, you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. Over time! Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know. Competition in the marketplace! You're dead! Get your own fucking business! Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you! Kill ya! Let's get out of here! Come Fuck on! You. 
Murder you pricks! operation to me. Hey, move it back, fellas! It's over! What are you crazy? You. Come on, shoot that bad Take over time! Now. Here I come! How about a merger, you pricks? Get that motherfucker out the house! Well, Stay down. Down. We got a man down! Yeah hey, back to your fucking trailer! He's in Larry's You assholes! Yeah, fuck! Shoot that bastard! Ah, you're dead! 
Keep him out of the lab! You mother fucking O'Neills! You gonna be buried in this basement. You're dead! Oh, you get out of this down. property! Cover you fucking down. asshole! This don't look like a larger operation. Die! 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 You gonna die in this cookhouse! Fuck you! Fuck Trevor Phillips, man! Fuck him! Crap! He's heading for the basement! You ain't get. Keep him upstairs! Shit! He's in the lab! in a meth lab. Oh, you're gonna burn, you idiots. Everything you've built, see how it feels. You 
make me want to emigrate. Back here. Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos soon? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's the stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... That might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? For fuck's sake! Another chapter of the Lost has descended on this fine Looking to mourn, maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to, well, send them on their way to begin with? Great has a beautiful way of bringing folk together, Wade. Just you wait. And besides, I brought them gifts.
Get out of town, you assholes! been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, key. Trevor, lube up your eye hole, fucker, because I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be Wade. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. What? You're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. 
Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. The Trevor! Hey! Aww. Giant sprawl, Los Santos. Oh, get you get, get you get. So this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here, but you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas, best part of the state. This is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years, which you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? Mother. Well, it ain't around here. What are you doing? Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Fly over in Refugee Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw. Oh! Ah! Ah! How did you not see me? Man, his coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt. Despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes. He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Cast. I seen it on the iPhone map. I'll give you directions. Go straight on here. Keep it straight now. So, now here's like a rat. You don't turn here. This is the place, I think it is at least. Cousin Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd 
Wade, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! I gotta get this fucking loan, man. If I don't pay it back, he'll kill me. Oh, these guys a lot of cash. Listen, man, if you don't hear from me tomorrow. What's wrong with you?
me in the back. Get on the fucking floor right now! Okay, okay, we're all friends here. What are we going to do? Let me know if you see something you like. I can see you wearing that. That'll look great on you. Make sure you come back. 